I think a pageant will not be a pageant without the crown. Every candidate dream of wearing one at one point. At Joseki, usually when we start any design, it's most of the time our team effort. It's one of us will throw in our own ideas and we just pick the best one. In our mind, it's somewhat like three brooches that you put on one crown. That brooches would be the part that is the most in front, protruded a little bit, and then a bigger leaves. Every each leaf is being carved by hand. The crown that we created is actually called the Anahao crown. The main theme that you will see is actually a foliage of Anahao, which is our national leaf. We chose Anahao simply because of its certain characteristics that echoes what a true beauty queen is all about. Like Anahao, it's sturdy, it's useful, it has substance. So just like a true mucha ng Pilipinas, she talks and we listen. She has advocacies, she has social responsibility. Muchana Pilipinas is celebrating its 50th year, that's why we make it a point that the color really is also in tune with its 50th anniversary, so it's gold. Fourteen carats of white sapphire, it has hand enamel and mother of pearl. So these are some of the precious materials that we incorporated in the crown. Um, there are actually three South Sea pearls representing the three big islands of the Philippines, Luzon, Visayas, and Mindanao. There are Sampaguita, which is our Philippine national flower. The centerpiece actually is the cameo that put in the middle of the crown. It really adds up to the glamour of the whole thing. And then we put a small crown on that little lady over there more than the prestige or more than the prizes that she will get, I think one of the important memory that she will bring is that moment when she is crowned as a Muchana Pilipinas. It is precisely why we created a crown that, was, that you know, will encapsulate this kind of moment in her life. I would like to thank uh, artist Dominic Rubio for agreeing to collaborate with us to create the centerpiece for the crown. And I would also like to thank uh, the Mutia ng Pilipinas organization for giving us this opportunity to create, create this magnificent crown.